Ni katika mahakama kuu ambako mwanamume mmoja alihukumiwa kifungo cha miaka mitano kwa kosa la kumtia mimba msichana wa umri wa miaka mitano. Aidha uamuzi huo umefutiliwa mbali na mahakimu watatu katika mahakama ya rufaa baada ya miaka mitano ya kifungo hicho na kuafikia uamuzi wa kuachiliwa kwa mshuki wa huyo. Mahakimu hao watatu Daniel Msinga, Rosalind Mbuye na Patrick Kiage pia wamependekeza umri wa idhini ya kushiriki ngono upunguzwe kutoka miaka minane hadi sita, pendekezo ambalo limepingwa vikali na wakenya mbalimbali hususan mpango unaohusisha vitengo vingi unaongozwa na maafisa wa serikali na vikundi visivyo vya serikali. Announcement is in conflict with the constitution. It is in conflict with the children's law. It is in conflict with various policies which actually administer several issues that touch on children including education, healthcare and um, other social services for children. Most of these girls should be in school at this particular time. So at this particular time, if these girls are in school, at what time will they concentrate on their education and at what time will they be looking on? Because issues of relationship also are matters that are touching the heart. So at what point will they be able to engage in this? Kikundi hiki kimeshikilia msimamo wake wa kupingana na umri wa miaka 16 uliopendekezwa kuwapa idhini ya mapema watoto wenye umri mdogo. The child has a right to education. When we now introduce issues of making the age of consent come down to 16 we are in essence opening a huge paradigm where we'll have these children engaging in an activity whose consequences they do not know about the issue here is not even about the age the issue here is about how many girls are getting to be victims of sexual gender based violence we are having early pregnancies in schools and we are having girls and even boys themselves at risk of these sexual offenses so we should ensure that we are able to protect them and not even lowering the age to 16 uamuzi huo wa mahakama ya rufaa ulinuia kushughulikia maslahi ya vijana wadogo wanaojipata gerezani baada ya kushiriki ngono kwa hiari na wasichana wenye umri sawia na wao Kulingana na Claire Lai ambaye ni mwanasheria, uamuzi huu utaweza kuafikiwa iwapo mabadiliko hayo yatafanywa kwenye katiba. Maybe we should have clauses in our laws that consider two young people engaging in acts of in sexual acts. Should we criminalize them? Should we treat them differently? Is there a way we can have punishment through maybe the juvenile system? The law states how that boy should be uh, uh, confined, detained, it's not, it's the failure of our own implementation it should not be the reason as to why we say we must lower the age of consent. Nchini Kenya ni hatia kwa mtu yeyote kufanya mapenzi na mtu mwenye umri wa chini ya miaka minane, lakini iwapo mabadiliko hayo yatafanywa kwenye katiba, watu wenye umri wa miaka 16 watakuwa na idhini ya kufanya mapenzi na kuoana.